Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Kid Stuff HQ and today I am talking about the Baby Preza Bottle Sterilizer. Now I bought this guy for $99. There are some things we like about him and some things we don't. We've been using him for about mm, four or five months now. I just didn't like sterilizing bottles in the bags that came with my Dr. Brown set. So I wanted something that I could actually run daily or every couple of days and this guy is the one that I purchased. Now, he does come with a dome lid that you simply put over the top when you're ready to sterilize, and that keeps the steam in and helps the sterilizing process. I'm gonna take him off today just so you can see kind of some of the things I am talking about here. Now, this guy is made by Baby Brezza, but it actually works really well with my Dr. Brown's bottles. Now, the reason I like it is, first of all, I can take my nipple and my ring apart and set them on there like this. Um, and then when I take the bottle apart, the part of the vent I can put up at the top and these little tubes have little areas at the bottom that they can go on. And then of course the bottle goes on the big part. So it's really great for Dr. Brown's bottles if you're interested in those or any bottles that have lots of parts and pieces. Now, one of the bummers about this, and this goes for most bottle warmers, it only does six bottles at a time in here. We typically use seven to eight bottles on a daily basis, so we find ourselves running it multiple times in a day. But that's okay. I find that we run it maybe once mid-morning and once in the evening, or we just kind of mix it up. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. That's not that much of a downside for me, because like I said, most bottle warmers do only fit six bottles. Now, if you look at the screen on the front, you've got some different options. First and foremost, you have the power button that turns the unit on and off. Then right below it, you have the button that sets your cycle. So you push it once to set a 45 minute cycle. You push it twice to get a 60 minute cycle. And you push it three times to get a 30 minute cycle of drying. Now on the other side of the screen, you have buttons if you only want to dry, again, you can push it for those times, once 45, twice 60, um, three times 30 minutes, and that is just a drying cycle. It's not going to sterilize, so it's not going to boil any water out. And then there's another button on the other side that only boils water and doesn't dry it. So you have quite a few options with this bottle sterilizer. I do really like that about it. Um, the parts and pieces come out if you wanted to clean it. So I'm gonna take these off. This guy on the top comes off, makes for easy cleaning. Um, and then this guy comes out and this is where you pour the water on the inside. So there is a hot plate on the bottom and there's a little vent right here where the water, uh, the steam escapes so it doesn't, you know, because if it didn't have a vent, it could. Now, this next thing is the thing that drives my husband crazy. Me, not so much, because I think put a plate or put a towel underneath it. But he thinks somebody should have thought this design through better. I tried to take a video of it, so I'm gonna put it on the screen now. What you're going to notice is this plate kind of heats in a horseshoe pattern. So basically a horseshoe shape is really where the main heating element is, and that's placed right next to the vent over here. So what ends up happening is as this is sterilizing, if you even overfill it a tiny bit, it says you need 120 milliliters. And if you overfill that a tiny bit, what happens is it starts spitting water out through this vent right here. So it can leak all over your counters. And if you have stone counters that aren't sealed or you're right above a seal, um, it can cause issues with your countertop because there's water that's constantly leaking out of this guy with, through this vent hole right here. Now there's really nothing that you can do about the horseshoe shape unless you want to take this whole guy apart. So it's just the way that it was built. There's lots of reviews on it at Line that say the same thing, that there's kind of this horseshoe shape. Um, kind of is what it is, but it still does its job. It still sterilizes bottles really well. We put pacifiers in here. Lots of stuff goes in, in this. We run it daily. This on your countertop gets really huge all bottle sterilizers are. So I personally like the way that this is designed. I like the way it looks. It's kind of sleek compared to the ones that are rectangular. Uh, so I really like that about it. It tends to be a little bit sleeker on the countertop, but it still takes up a lot of real estate. Overall, would I buy this again? Probably, because it does a really great job of sterilizing bottles. We run it multiple times a day. I like that I just have a dryer function. I like that I just have a sterilizer function. I like that I have both built into one. So I think it's a great unit. Um, and like I said, it fits my Dr. Brown's bottle parts and pieces really, really well. It doesn't only fit with Baby Brezza parts. So 
I'd buy it again. Now, if you're interested in seeing a few more pictures and a more detailed review, uh, some things my husband has to say on it, check out the post that we did reviewing this on kidstuffhq.com. I have linked that post down below, and I've also linked where you can purchase this guy on Amazon, 99 bucks. Loses some points for some of the design flaws, but I would absolutely buy him again because I know that baby's bottles really need to be sterilized, and so that I don't have to do them in the microwave all the time in those flimsy little bags. I like popping them in this guy, pushing them over into the corner of my cabinet. It really doesn't look bad. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more kid stuff reviews in the future, consider subscribing to our channel. Now, in the comments below, let me know, have you tried the Baby Brezza bottle sterilizer? Do you use any Baby Brezza products? How do you like them? And if you don't use them, how do you sterilize your bottles? Do you use the bags or do you use a different sterilizer? How do you like it? I'm Lisa from Kid Stuff HQ. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day.